Yeah, Black Light coming back one more time. And uh, depending on the time I got to move, I might come back with another one, keeping them short and sweet if I can. It was a brother, a uh, musician, a fellow musician named uh, Billy Preston, played the organ. He wrote a song called Will It Go Round in Circles. He said, I got a song, ain't got no melody. You know, I'm just going to let the music, uh, music, music move me around. Then he say, will it go around in circles? Or will it fly high like a bird up in the sky? You know, in other words, he gonna do it. He gonna cast his, uh, he gonna cast his net and see what's, what jumps off. You know what I'm saying? And uh, things do go around in circle. But if it's at the right time, at the uh, right point, you know, it'll take off, you know, it'll fly, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, I was inspired to do this, uh, do this, uh, video. Something hit me, you know, about, uh, uh, how things work, you know, how things are manifested. And me and his me and his brother was kicking around about the source, and the source. What? I know the source. It's like this. You heard this. Uh, this saying, "Me, myself, and I." It's three. Uh, three work. Three different uh, variations of. Uh, a meaning, me, myself, and I. And then you got that fourth, it's the source. And the source, you know, so I, I was, you know, trying to imagine it in my mind, how everything worked. So I got the picture of a tree, of an apple tree. Because the apple tree had fruit on it. And in the fruit got seeds, you know. So we're going to say that. That seed. Is the source. And the brother that. Me and him was. Uh, kicking this around. He says. Uh, everything has codes in it. So. In that seed, you know, is the past, the present, and the future. In that seed. But it's kind of laying stagnant right there because it has to uh, have nourishment, you know. But it's, it's in a dormant state. And it's not dead. It's alive. It has to have the right uh, influence to manifest itself, right? So that seed is going to be a tree, and then that tree is going to be a, a fruit, going to be branches, rather, and then on the branches are going to be fruit, and that fruit is going to be uh in that fruit is going to be seeds. So the process is going to start all over again. You know, like a circle. You know? And so a tree usually, you know, has to plant itself in soil, fertile ground, black soil. The blacker the soil, the fertile the soil. The more richer the soil is, the more nutrients and whatever it, you know is in it, the blacker that soil, the better it is. You know, we, they call it black dirt or whatever, you know. So once that is implanted in the soil, uh, something starts to happen, you know, a manifestation starts to happen. 
and then uh, it also needs uh, water and it needs sun and so that sun gives it what it needs and the water gives it what it needs and the soil needs what it needs then it takes root in the soil and that's the change from a seed to, to roots but then when it comes out of that soil it's a spore or a spine then uh You know, it's some you know uh, in that spine that gives signals to the atmosphere and stuff. You know, and the atmosphere they talking to each other. You know, and so uh, as it continues to be watered and sunlight, whatever it turns into a little tree, the tree grows. And then it sprouts branches, and then on the branches got fruit. Now you got some trees, man, that's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years old, man. They still living. You know? And so, what's the deal on that? What's the deal on that right there, you know? And we, we are close to the family of uh, man. It's close to uh, uh, plants. I say we're more closer to the plants than we are uh, animals, you know. Uh, but we got all of that in us. Because when we are sperm, we, we just change shapes and whatever. We be looking like fishes and tadpoles and all types of little creatures. You know what I'm saying? So we, we go through all these phases and stuff. But then we got another person in us too. Another being in us too. And we still got this that seed in us when we was... Uh, where we came from, but we got some of the earth in us. We got some of the sun in us. We got some water in us also. And everything that was in that earth was in us. Man, we some, don't you know, y'all don't realize what the hell we, <laughs> y'all don't know who he is, man. You know? But where, where did the seed come from, right? Well, man, you know, maybe that seed was always here. Maybe in a different form or whatever. You know? Because it's always a uh, transmuting, you know, mutation or whatever. It's always changing. But it's still the same, though. The same process for millions and millions and trillions and trillions of years. It changes like how it grows and everything, but the way it do it, the way it, it, it comes in to flourishing is the same. It's a, they, we call it a law, you know. So now we're talking about you know who God is, who the Most High is. You know, that's like me, myself, and I, then the source, right? Four things, you know. So you got me in you, myself in you, you got I in you. And then you got the source. The all in all, man. I think that's a hip way of explaining that, you know. Uh, so I don't know why brothers be t arguing all the time, man, about all in all. See, some people got to gotta get it spooky to make them act right. 
you know, they got to get it spooky, you know, to, you know, because some people, you know, they they believe there's a God in the sky and whatever, looking down on your every move, watching you. And so that might keep them in check. Then some people don't believe in God. You know, not like that. They believe in, they believe in something, but it's not like that. Some people don't believe in the law, you know, of 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 God. At least not like like the way it's presented to them. You gotta go on another level to present it to them, you know, to convince them. And uh it's always something above you, you know, but it's a part of you, you know. It's attached to you, you know, in some kind of way or, or form. And when you when you croak, you know, when you croak on out, out of here, uh, your body croak, you know, uh, the essence that's in you. See, your body goes back to the earth. But uh, the seed didn't come from the earth. It came from the earth, but it didn't come from the earth. You know? So, where did that, where, where did that, that, uh, probably view that seed, part of you, uh, that cold, <clears throat> that cold, them coals that was in the seed, put it like that, them coals that was in the seed, uh, where did the coals go after you die? Do the coals, uh, are you, is, is death coded? Death, death must be a code, right? So, do the codes end with death? That's the big question everybody want to know. You know, where, do, where does the... Where does any part of you, the inner you, the... We know where the outer you go. It's, it's going to the ground. It's going to deteriorate and blend in with the soil. You know, and but where does the essence, you know, where does your energy go? Well, you're not gonna be breathing no more. That's what kills you. You lose you you lose the capability of breathing air. But where where does them colds or do they stop do they stop being colds or what so this is black light i don't get you know i want y'all to dig on that for a minute ponder on that and uh you know see where that take you black man black woman think this is black light out